the weight, weight, weight. Just training swings? Training swings, and I, you know, I like just actually go to the top, make a slow motion transition, and play the shot. Even if you feel like you can only play them 50%. And so that was, you know, slow motion transition with one weight. <laughs> you need to have three weights in the transition, slow motion. Your body's really got to wait for it. Closer, there's two weights, or one and a half maybe. <laughs> Great. Now on the better ones too, just so you know, you know, you, you're, you're rotating on the anchor line and when you fire, you actually fire with your verticals before your rotation. Good or bad? No, on the good ones, that's what you need to do, right? You, you, you know, let's do this in the training swing just so you can really see it. So go up to the top, we get all the setup, left hip high, drop the right knee up to the top. Okay, so let it drop in. Okay, now rotate on the anchor liner there. Now, when the arms come into impact and delivery now, post up on the left leg and start to launch. There you go. We need enough of that before you rotate left. If you rotate left during, the, during delivery, you're going to get that little pull. That's part of the, 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 two, the third weight. So as you launch, boom, now deliver. Launch and deliver, then rotate left. Okay? So when I, when I say fire, I want you to fire your verticals before you feel like you're rotating left and hooking it. Yeah, fire your verticals now. And let the arms, downward verticals too, up and down together. There you go, now rotate left. There's your hook it straight. The hook it straight is in the exit, instead of in delivery. I think you thought of it in delivery, now that I've been watching these. Hook it straight is in your exit, okay? Fire is launch your verticals. Your upwards and downward verticals. That's probably why I'm having a challenge waiting. Exactly. And you probably feel like you get stuck. Yeah. If you fire your upward and downward verticals, your arms are in, you know, in front of you enough, your right rear linkage, but they're in front of you enough that you never feel your body out racing your arms, right? right? Now you'd think it would go more left if your arms were more in front of you. Yeah. But no, for you, when you get stuck behind, you come over, you rotate early, you do all this other stuff, right? <laughs> So how many weights were in that one? One and a half. One and a half. Okay, now you can feel it. You get what I'm saying. And you're really going to have to learn. I think your, your subconscious is yet to accept that firing the verticals is how you launch your swing, how, how you apply power. See, the rotational power is already there. We have an orbital effect in the golf swing. It's already there. It's so strong, we never even have to worry about it anymore. All we got to do is hook it in the exit you know, by getting around, right? I mean, that, that was my purpose of getting your rotation so strong early on, so later on you'd never have to think about it when you're launching your verticals, okay? Yeah, I mean, without a doubt, the strongest part of your habits now is being a body rotator, which is, was the foundation of being a body player, right? Okay. Now it's the least of our worries. Now we've got to learn how to get it synchronized and launch the verticals before you rotate left. There. You know, both Sean and Chad's uh, swings that you saw on the blog, you can see they're doing that a pretty good job of that now, yeah? Hell, I mean, I think uh, that lesson, you know, that we took those from, you know, Chad was here for a couple hours, and I think he never played a shot left that day. And like you, he's fought the left side of the golf course his whole life. Yeah, I got that from his Yeah. Comments. Oh, yeah.